<laughs> this is Angela Thwok, a Kushat International. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Nyabak Tang. I'm gonna make Nur traditional food, wal wal. I'm gonna show you how to prepare it. I'm so excited. Oh, thank you, thank you for joining me. It's gonna be fun. Oh my God, I can't wait. Making my country food that I learned how to cook when I came to America. When I don't wanna eat American food, I go back to tradition ways. I'm so excited to try to make this for these young Sudanese girls, you know. When I came here to the United States, I didn't know how to make one well. I didn't know how to make it either. So my mom taught me how to do this at age, um, age 10. So that's when I learned how to make one well. So I know it's going to be a hard process and it's, it, it takes a lot of practice. It took me a lot of practice for me to know how to mix it and stuff. But don't let our tradition die. So let's get into it, guys. Okay, guys, these are the ingredients you need for making no traditional food wow wow so what you would need is some sugar half and half you can use like regular milk too to eat it with you need like um corn flour it's almost like um the purpose flour but this is the the corn one and then you need like some water you know a cup of water and then you're gonna need this bowl to mix the the one one with and then you need like this utensil to kind of mix it up when it's all ready to cook this is the flour you have to mix it with water so this is what it looks like after putting water in it and what you do that you let it sit for like a few days two days and stuff like that um, before you cook it so it kind of you know have a little taste to it so these are the ingredients we, um, we need to make it so i'm going to get into it and i'm going to start showing you guys how to um do the process okay so now i'm going to just get um you can make much as you want. I'm just gonna get the mixed flour into the bowl. Yep. After you put it into your bowl, you put like the dry flour on top of it. And then you keep just using your hand and then keep like just turning it until you get like to, you, you start making actually little tiny balls in here. A little tiny, little couscous type of looking things. Just keep going until you actually, the mixture is getting more dry, so it can actually mix into the ball. Depending on how you like it, you can make the, the ball a little bigger or even skinnier. For me, I always make it like kinda medium. Sometimes it depends on the mood of the day, so stuff will go. So then you just mix it up like that. Your hand will get a little dry, so you put water in your hand, thing, and then you just kind of continue to go do that because it will dry your your hand will dry up, and you need it uh, it to be wet for the for the wall once you actually keep mixing. You see how the balls are kind of coming up. That's what you need to do, and then you just keep tossing it. So after mixing it like this, you see how um, the mixture of the pieces, these are big pieces. So as you're making it, the pieces are gonna get smaller and the bigger piece, you can just take them, put them on it. Um, the, um, into the the mixture one and then you do the same thing just take it out you put it in there and then you continue to do the same process until you get to that all the pieces are actually equal so that's the process okay guys this is what it looks like when it's done so whatever you have left over don't throw it away you just add more water and just mix it up like that and then, you know, you put it in a container and put it in the fridge, you know, uh, until you want to um, make another one. That's all you do. Now I'm gonna come to the cooking part of it. So what you do is just get any pot um, you want. Usually I got a medium pot because I don't have that much, you know, um, to make. So depending on how much water well, well, you you have or actually you make, that's how much water you need for it. So this, this water could even be small, but this amount is kind of, the same amount as this that's all i need and then after that what you do is you just put it on high and let your water boil once it's boiled we're gonna put the mixture in okay guys now the water is boiling so now we're gonna put um the wall in the water 
and then you need like wood spoon you can use anything you know like to kind of do it but you want to use one with like a couple like space on there you know so what all can go through like the, uh, the pieces can go through it so they don't get stuck together I'm gonna start putting it in there And you want to stir while you put it in there because you don't want it to stick together. And kind of give um, the pieces like time to cook. And keep stirring. We only need to give it like maybe three more minutes and then it should be done. And then it will be ready to to be eaten. Lady, if you cook this for your man every morning before he go to work, oh god, oh my god, he's gonna love you forever. <laughs> this is like more best thing. This is how you get to eat the man so so lady make sure you show these guys y'all can make our traditional stuff all right because our, our mother raised us right okay guys i'm adding sugar depending on how much sugar you want it'll be up to you it will vary person to person so you let it keep cooking so Two more minutes, I should be done. Then you can just put it in a bowl. This is the end result. It's in the bowl, it's really hot, and it's kind of sweet. A little bit of sourness to it. I put it in a bowl, and then this is my milk, half and half, right here. And this would it look like with your milk. Um, back home, they put like um, butter on top of it before you cook the milk, you know? So, um, what you would do is, yeah. oh. Okay guys, thank you for watching my channel. Shout out to Najo. She requested me to make this. Have you guys seen? I made more traditional food. Well, well, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Please, please do not forget to support your sister. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you for tuning in and I'm thank you for the support. Please subscribe to my channel. Later. The best food is gone in the world.